just as gracious. As I introduce my co-host, he needs no introduction. You know him, you love him. Put your hands together for Monty Jones! City. Wow. Wow, we made it. How about the storm, everyone? God is pissed we're here. We're making atrocities happen right now. Who's been here before? Make some noise. Who's been here? Who's been coming here longer than six months? Who's been coming here longer than a year? Who's been coming here longer than two years? Who's been coming here the entire three years we've been doing the show? Wait, really? Wait, where are you? Woo! Hell yeah, give it up for them. Who's fir whose first time is this? Yeah. Oh shit, we got a couple of them. Wait, put your hands up again. What's your name, brother? Yeah, oh, I know you, shit. What's your name? Robin. Robin, everyone say, what's up, Robin? What's up, Robin? All right, Robin, this is your first time. You've never heard about the show before? No. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna set this off. Come up here, here's a $10 gift card for you. He's a free beer on us. Thank you for coming out. Give it up for Robin, everyone. Yeah, what if that shit's empty? What if there's nothing on it? <laughs> it's a David Buster's gift card. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the old circuit in Scott's edition. Uh, who else has never been here before? Yeah. What's your name? David. David, everyone say, hey, David. What's up, David? David, I'm gonna give you... I'm gonna give you the movie Ghost. Yeah. I don't know if you're a VHS player, but I feel like you need some romance in your life. Give it up for David, everyone! <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. We got prizes, we're giving them out all night, everyone, for random fucking reasons. Uh, give it up our cameraman, Silver, everyone. This is a live show. He's been recording for the last year and a half. He's the backbone of the show. He's the reason why we seem professional, but we're not shit. Uh, so please, make all the noise you can tonight. I see, y'all see, we got some, uh, we got some blowers on the table, we got some poppers and shit. Please, use them when you want. Uh, not those kind of poppers. Uh, not those kind of poppers, those are under the table. Those are taped under the table. The bath, the, the, the basic city, uh, Bukaki bathroom is that side. Keep it away from here. That door is not thick. Uh, who else has never been here before? You? You've never been here before? So you've been here so many times? Oh, is he lying? Does he, do you not like being talked to? No, he's lying. Oh, he's lying. Oh, then fuck you. You pointed to him. What's your name? No, not you. Hey, guys, focus. I don't have a lot of time. Rachel. Rachel? All right, everyone say shut up, Rachel. I'm going to give you this. Can you catch? Hell yeah. You did not catch that. You totally did not catch that. What was that glass? Did that break? Oh, okay, cool. Give it up for Rachel, everyone. Yeah. All right, well, Rachel, uh, De Denny, uh, David, uh, what was your name? Robin, Robin. Uh, this is an unconventional open mic. We've been doing this shit for three years. Me and my co-host, Tyler Bauer. We have two microphones. We have a soundboard. Tyler, play a sound. You gotta go somewhere and beat your meat. After the show. <laughs> We're gonna play some sound bites. We're gonna talk during a comic set. When they come out, uh, when they uh, get done, they get to sit down at that table, and then they get to head for the next comic. We do that for the entire show. And you, as the crowd, get to get involved too. Follow Bay City Comedy on Instagram. Send us some DMs. We will read them live during the show. Roast a comic. Compliment a comic. Try to slide in their DMs. Also, we have pies, everyone. If you want a comic to get pied in the face, let us know, and we'll make it happen, everyone. All right? That sound good, to everyone? So this thing on my neck feels like it's about to pop. I hope it happens during the show. <laughs> That's gonna get all over me. I'm gonna lick it up like I'm Scooby-Doo when he gets whipped cream on his shit. Oh my god. Hell yeah, we're gonna get freak nasty tonight. I don't have anything else. Tyler, do you have anything? Uh, yeah, if there's any assassination attempts tonight, <laughs> just know that we have shooters on the roof in the apartment across the street. We got shooters on the bridge. We got... That one took his idea. Yeah, yeah they, that was the Secret Service during the Trump thing. Uh, we got shooters on the roof in Legends, so don't try anything, motherfucker. Three homeless people just got murdered to prove a point. We're not fucking around tonight, everyone. All right, Tyler, anything else? 
No, I, I'm ready to start the show. Are you guys ready to start the show? Well, guys, there's only one way to get started Basic City. On the count of three, can I get one big fuck you, Monty? One, two, three! Fuck you, And for my co-host, the brains, the computer himself, give it up for my best friend, the fucking best dude, the funniest motherfucker in the entire world. Give it up for Tyler. Fucking fuck you, Tyler, on three. One, two, three! Fuck you, Tyler! All right, lift up your poppers on the table. Let's pop them. Let's get this show started, everyone. There's no one sitting there that's kind of embarrassing for us. So I'm going to pop one off. They're kind of lackluster. They're a little lackluster. All right, we're going to start this show with your first comic coming to the stage. We handpicked him to be first because he always brings that energy. He is Basic City royalty, and you're going to love him. Please help me welcome your first comic for the three-year anniversary. Give it up for J. Ryan! Do you mean? 
you won't grow up and be a TikToker. This is a goal of people now. Grow up, be a TikToker. I said, what you want to do? This motherfucker said, I'm going to be a foodie. All right. I'm going to go to all of the different schools, elementary schools, and eat all these kids' lunches and see whatever, who school got the best lunch. And I said, oh, you want to be an inmate when you get older. You can't do it. <laughs> You can't just go visit elementary schools and eat shit when you get grown, my boy. That's called trespassing. <laughs> so what's trespassing? That's when they pass the trays out at lunch. Get your stupid ass away from me, man. My mouth dry. Y'all high or just me? <laughs> I pulled up on some weeds. You know you got good That's friends. That's why you, you yo, J-Ron, we weed. started to show late because J-Ron said he was on his way. You okay, okay, okay. I'm going to tell you what the fuck I did. I was asleep, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I was asleep. I was asleep. I'm a nigga that work, all right? I work every fucking day. I was tired. I You're a teacher. Shut up, bitch. That's during the school year. It's summertime. Wait, what do you do now? I move furniture. <laughs> <laughs> One minute remaining. Is that your work uniform you're wearing? No, I took it off, took a shower, and went to sleep. <laughs> I'll tell y'all something, man. If you uh somebody that need movers coming to your house, hey man. Wait, you move furniture and you don't know what a duvet is? Everybody ain't fucking got one, Tyler. <laughs> you were raised by old people and you don't know what a duvet is. Okay, well tell me what the fuck it is, then, since y'all want to be smart asses. What's a duvet? Is it that shit on his hand? <laughs> yeah, Tyler, tell him what a duvet is. Yeah, tell him. Learn me something today. Yeah, Tyler. Chinese food and shit, it looked good. <laughs> These the little bees that the auntie have in the house. Do you want those? No, I don't. Okay. Monty's selling bees if anybody wants some bees. We got a little yard sale going on up here in case anybody want to buy some. I got two white boys for sale at my yard sale in case anybody want to buy some. All right, I'm going to get the photo. Monty Jones, everybody. Give it up for Jay Ross, turn the show up. Shit. I want to give another crowd that we have so many. How many of the products from last year that we didn't get rid of? They've been sitting back there the entire time. Let's see. Uh, these prizes? Let's see. Who got kids? Damn, no one in this motherfucker has kids? That's Sir, a you don't have kids? That's a Bible for kids. You're old as shit. How do you not have kids? God damn. What are you doing? Wait, no. What a kid. What do you do? Why would you say that? Are you a teacher? You sell insurance. You sell insurance and you don't have kids? That's not even like... That. You have nothing to do with kids, like, at all. That nigga a pimp. He sell hoes. When's the last time you saw us? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, pimping chairs will be crazy, bro. I'm pimping for a while. Man. Hell yeah. My whole ran away. I need that money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get yourself together. Are you going to... Sorry, why, when's the last time you saw a kid? Shut up, I, I'm gay, ha ha, shut up, stupid. Do that. He was calling you a kid. Oh, he was calling me a kid. Oh, okay. That motherfucker. Hell yeah. I don't like it. You look like a magician out of uniform. I don't, I don't like that you're a front row. He called you a kid and you Here, take his holy Bible for kids, you piece of shit. <laughs> Your veins. Get some God in there. Get some black Jesus in your life. Hey, wait a minute, man. What? What's wrong? He called you a kid and you got mad and came out the closet. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Hey, oh, you a kid. I'm gay. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Jay, honestly, this is, I'll, be, I'll be completely honest with you. Tyler, I can play some music to be, to be completely honest with you. Uh, completely honest. Give him that honest music. Yeah, give me some honesty music. I can't lie. Okay, so. I was wearing, I, this is my first time wearing this outfit, right? So I was like, I, I looked at it and I was like crazy. And then I got here and I was like, I look stupid. <laughs> Call me a kid because now I feel like a child. Do I look like I'm about to be in the amusement park? Fuck you. Well, your next comic looks like he works in an amusement park. He uh, he started, he's been rocking with us for the first couple years, and he moved to North Carolina, and he came back just for the show, so please, you might remember him. Please help me welcome back the very funny Nate Bechtel! I said. 
Yo, J. Ron, why'd you, why'd you bring your cuck here? <laughs> That's not true. We double team women together like a team. What's a cuck? Oh, wait, you don't know what a cuck is? You can't use all these white words with now, that. Now, J. Ron. Nate, you want to explain what a cuck is? J. Ron, a cuckold is a fella who likes to watch his wife get railed by another man. It's crazy you use the official word. You just needed that more syllable. Also, yes. a duvet is a soft quilt filled with <laughs> down feathers or synthetic fiber used instead of an upper sheet of blankets. That's true! I have a duvet at home and I use it. Tell me what it is again, what does it say? It's like a quilt on top of the bed, basically. Oh, it's a blanket. Yeah. How <laughs> the fuck did you just say that? It's I thought it was a French ass blanket. If that's the case, I'd have moved plenty of duvets. I know what they talk about, man. I thought it was like a mural or something. I thought it was mud shit. You know, y'all be wild. Yo, someone just texted in. Oh, wait, no, Silver just texted. A duvet is a cover you put on a bedspread to make it. I thought it was one of those things that clean your booty. What that is? No, that's a um, That's a bidet. Yeah, same syllables. How many bidets have you moved? I ain't never had to move nothing. Okay, that's good. Oh How like you like doing, J. Ron? I'm all right, man. How you doing? You always got different paint on your face. Right? I do. I do. You this look. You use colors. <laughs> you yes, know? I did. You look like you're uh, keeping it tight. Oh, don't put that like that. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Y'all can't it, just be saying stuff. Isn't J. Ron a beautiful man? Oh. Yeah, let's hear it for him. Clap if you find J. Ron attractive. Yeah, attractive is different. That's all right. Dick's still good. <laughs> oh, that's right. Folks! I'm living with my parents again. And none of you needed to be told that. Uh, and I don't know why we say only losers and failures move back in with their parents, because from where I'm sitting, you all pay rent. You feel what I'm saying? And I flew a kite with my dad. We frolicked through a field together. I live at home too, Nick. Uh-huh. Isn't it glorious? It is. Me and my daddy play 2K all the time. Have you ever made your dad breakfast before he woke up and been like, here you go, old man? No. Oh, you should do it. It's better than heroin. <laughs> you did heroin before? <laughs> yeah, casually. <laughs> yeah, they just fall out in the kitchen waiting for sunrise. <laughs> trying to recruit people for World War One. <laughs> In the gay division! Let's go, fellas! Taking it to the trenches, both literally and metaphorically. <laughs> oh, perfect time. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me, Tyler, with the rim shot. Blowing bubbles. It's Hopper! Hopper's blowing bubbles! Hi! Everybody say hi to Hopper! I'm just not a part of this. Hello. Okay. Would we like a joke? Yeah. That would be lovely. I know. I'll try to finish this one. Folks, a little trans boy was kicked out of a musical in Texas. Oh my god. I know. The school even said they had to review the play itself because it had adult language. Violence and mature themes. One minute remaining. The children were at risk of being cool, so they had to shut it down. But the school even doubled down and they said, students can only play the gender that uh, they were assigned at birth. You can only play a role that is the gender you were assigned at birth. Is gender a white word too, Gerald? No, 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 I know what that means. <laughs> Folks, I'm gonna be honest here. Comment from the crowd, there is no light behind his eyes. I think that's just the contour. Yeah. Folks, I'm gonna be honest here. You don't take the dog out of DMX. You don't take the dick sucking out of Nancy Reagan. And motherfucker. And you do not take the gay out of theater.
they have an album called We Picked the Navy. Here you go, Nate. Welcome back, buddy. All right, keep sending those comments, everyone. Uh, Robin, are you still there? Yeah. Are you doing all right? Good. How do you feel about the show? Not you personally. I feel good at the show, too. Thank are, you so much. Are you a medical professional? Do you know what's wrong with my neck? Yeah, Tyler, during the show, Tyler's freaking out on my ear about this thing on his neck. He won't <laughs> shut up about it. I'm so self-conscious. I'm going to get a toothpick from the bar and pop it. <laughs> Ew. All right, I would give someone hundred dollars if they took a shot of it. Like if it came out, two hundred dollars. <laughs> what about a couple Basic City gift cards? <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. What about five half-used Basic City gift cards? All right. Yeah, the all right. Twenty-seven dollars in Basic City gift cards. Just seven of them, though. You have to use a lot. All right. Well, your next time I come to the stage. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, and also another dude who used to be here and moved, and now he's back. He moved to Philly. He got so much cooler, dude. He's so much fucking cooler. He says words like fucking, uh, bro. <laughs> he's, in, he's in North Carolina, too. He's in North Carolina? He's Wait, in he's North in North Carolina? Carolina? Yes! He says words like, yo. <laughs> yeah. He's in, he, all right, he moved to North Carolina. My bad. The Philly of the South. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm happy to see him. You're gonna love him. I hope his hair's enough beanie. I... Okay, yeah, it is. Alright, please give it up for Brittany Crozier! Yeah! <laughs> Happy birthday, Basic City! Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah! Nah, you don't have to be excited, it's fine. I'm excited to be here. I was talking to my friend the other day. He was, uh, he was talking to me. He was upset. Because he read something online that said, uh, it was like an article saying the number one fantasy that women have in a man is uh, that of a vampire. Like that's their number one archetype that they're attracted to. And he was like really upset about that because he was telling me like, this just goes to show that women will take any like low down dirty scumbag over a nice guy like me. And I'm like, bro, you're not having trouble with women because you're too nice of a guy. It's because you're a Republican. Uh-huh, honey. And you keep talking about it. Obama! <laughs> Vampires aren't doing that shit. That's what would have ended Twilight if in that movie. She's like, so it's an election year. You know? <laughs> so who are you thinking about? And he's like, I'm 300 fucking years old, Bella. It's time for you to fucking grow up. <laughs> I've been with this shit since Teddy Roosevelt. What fuck are you talking about? That's what that's what would have finally scared her off is if he revealed that he voted for George Bush twice. <laughs> He's been in high school for every single school shooting. He's still staunchly pro-gun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we're talking about Oh yeah. School shootings are a problem. Uh they keep, uh, they keep happening. <laughs> they keep happening and they're not getting any better and I feel like it's an eventuality that there's going to be a school shooting at a school that has already had a school shooting. At this you, know what's, you know what's the best thing about school shootings happening? What's that, Is that, is that do you remember the DJ Khaled meme where he's like another one? No. <laughs> Every time there's another school shooting that would happen on Twitter to make me laugh. Sorry. Yeah. That is how it is. He's right. Can you imagine DJ Khaled as a news reporter? Could, I thought you were going to say, could you imagine him as a school shooter? That's way funny. And perhaps, what is this? <laughs> My shit is accurate. <laughs> Bring out the whole classroom. <laughs> but no, I, they, so I'm about to tell her to bring out the whole SWAT. Uh, they, they do keep happening, though, which is terrible to think about, but I feel like there's going to be that conversation between two siblings who went to that same school at the dinner table, where the one asks the other one, like, oh, how was school? And he's like, it's fucking awful, we all got shot. And they just talk about it the way that they talk about how shitty each other's history teachers were. Like, you wouldn't have made it past fucking, like, Kyle in 2014, pre-assault weapon ban, pussy. It's like, yeah, well, it was terrible, we missed the Scholastic Book Fair, which is the most tragic thing to miss because of a school shooting, because, and not just because it's fun and educational, it's because if you got a hold of those spy gadgets, you might have been able to stop the guy before he, <laughs> before he did too much damage. 
or whatever. But uh, Crozier, you look like you'd be the best friend of a school shooter, and then when they interview you, you'd be like, I don't know, man. I, he told me not to come to school tomorrow. I listened to him. I was like, all right, brother. We smoked weed a lot. He watched really aggressive manga. He showed me uh, custom Doom maps he made of his own school. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he showed me the blueprints of the school. I thought it was our new D&D campaign. Fuck yeah. It, no, all that's true. What a, uh, I don't know, yo. He just seemed pretty pissed one day. <laughs> there, uh, but people, it's always hindsight 2020 when, when something like that happens. And everybody likes to go through the shooter's like browser history or whatever and be like, Oh, he listened to Marilyn Manson. We should have seen this coming. Which really, you don't know anything from stuff like that. But there are people out there who you can safely assume are going to do some crazy fucked up shit like that. Like, there's a guy out there right now. Was it? Oh, no, no, no. Right, there's a guy out there right now who's getting paid, he's making a living taste testing Bean Boozled. <laughs> and that's being prison. He's a monster. So if you look through my, if I pulled out my gun I have on me and killed everyone in this room right now, on my search history, it would be a dinosaur wind chime. Fuck it. <laughs> it was $21 for uh, Prime Day and I bought it. Yeah. Comment from the crowd, how many sublime tattoos does Brendan have? <laughs> It's right next to his Juggalo tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is a corn man through and through. Anyway. Oh. I, I was thinking at like maze. <laughs> you guys know about lucid dreams? Hear that? Everyone knows a lucid dream where you can act through your dreams. Because dreams, cool. Lucid dreams, better. Nightmares, bad. Lucid nightmares, not that bad. Because you can kind of like think your way out of lucid nightmares. And if you're ever having a nightmare and you have any amount of lucidity, take some notes from your friend Brendan, some advice right here. You want to wake up from a lucid nightmare, just fucking kill yourself. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but... Like, How would you kill yourself in your lucid nightmare? I uh, usually find something tall to jump off of. <laughs> yeah. Comment, so <laughs> comment from the crowd, ask him how did it feel when his dad didn't bring home Turbo Man. I don't know what that is. <laughs> You guys all know about uh, AI deepfake technology, like people putting famous people's faces on, you know, yourself or whatever. It, it's funny, it's like cute little videos people make. People also make a ton of fucking porn with that shit, putting like celebrities just over like porn stars, which is, you know, cool and all, but I want to get into the game of just making deepfake porn, because I just, I just want to do funny stuff with it. Because I want to like create monstrosities, and you're just watching like BBW, Natalie Portman, Something like that. You guys don't think that's funny. I think that bitch. Like a three headed R. Kelly just. Three -headed. Yeah, yeah I don't do absolutely. This, but, uh, and there's two more heads, so it's just. Nah, usually I don't do this, but. Uh, I think it would and be. And then funny. the last one's shy. He doesn't talk. I think it would be funny to see Angelina Jolie with cankles, but that's just. <laughs> one minute remaining. That's just me. I want somebody to be watching deep fake porn and be really into it and not know it's deep fake porn, but something's just a little bit off the whole time. And you're like. Right at the end, you're about to fucking bust. It zooms right in on her face, and you realize it's been Jay Z's lips the whole time. I'm <laughs> charging off to. Fucking, uh. Racist. I don't think that is racist. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Brandon, you look like, like, you look like you're at January 6th, but just because you stumbled upon it. Yeah. Like, I feel like all your friends are up to, like, nefarious shit, and you're just like, I don't know, dude, I was just trying to go to the store. <laughs> they said they didn't make a stop at the Capitol building. <laughs> All right. I don't know, I was just in that car when Heather Hyatt got ran over. I thought he was my Uber. <laughs> oh, wrong button. <laughs> Any questions? I don't know. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. <laughs> So we're gonna keep this shit moving right along. Keep writing in those comments, everyone. Your next comic coming to the stage, he's a newer comic. He did a guest spot on our showcase a couple weeks ago, and he's just so adorable, you just wanna love him. Please give it up for Blake Carlson! <laughs> what the fuck is up, Basic City? It's me, Blake Carlson, the sluttiest person you know. Ow. Certified ass dropper, pussy popper. If you are not the sluttiest person you know, try harder. I get am harder. What harder? Get harder? Get harder. Drop harder. Just everything 
I'm harder right now, Tyler. Are you? <laughs> but uh, wow. dude, that uh, that long sleeve shirt is so much bigger than your legs. Like, I know. Is, you look so baby in that. I yeah. I can't get hard because all the blood's rushing to the thing in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, by the way, I'm gonna give you this trophy just because it makes sense somehow. Thank you very much. Please hold that for the rest of your set. Of course. So, I have a dick and a butt, Basic City. Am I allowed to say that? Monty, am I allowed to say that anymore? Am I gonna get kicked? I have a dick and a butt, Basic City, okay? I'm gonna tell your mommy. Uh-uh. I don't even care anymore. She could know. Because I have, you guys exactly, you, you're, you're, we're right here, you know what that means. I have a dick and a butt. It means jizzness in the front. Uh-huh. Farty in the back, Basic City. That's what I'm talking about. I, uh, you know who doesn't like that joke? My girlfriend doesn't like that joke. Girlfriend? Yeah, right. I, well, she doesn't like that joke. And you know, my, the, the, the biggest difference, you know, the only difference between my girlfriend and a blow-up doll is, uh, is a blow-up doll would save me from drowning. Uh. Your girlfriend can't swim or something? Is that the joke? What a weird thing to pick on your girlfriend about. You can't swim, bitch. Like, what? She just burns your food and you're like, whatever, you fucking land dweller. Also, coming from the crowd, he looks like he's trying to out-jog HIV. <laughs> coming from the crowd, Blake, Blake looks like the ninth grader in a John Hughes movie that gets dared to steal panties. <laughs> Come on. From, Go ahead. Uh, comment from the crowd, he looked, he left the rest of his pants at home. <laughs> comment from the crowd, and I can read better than Tyler, he dressed like an extra in D2, the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> he being the gay porno, the Mighty Sucks. Damn. Uh, wow. This hockey, this, I'm, a, I'm gonna check your shit. I feel like you could fit in my fanny pack, can you like come over here? That's, I'm no, actually, basically no. a chihuahua, but I, uh, I, I'm gonna play Fuck, Mary Kill with the Beatles. Um, it's very, uh, I'm gonna play Fuck, Mary Kill with the Beatles. If I had to play Fuck, Mary Kill with the Beatles, I would kill John, I would fuck George, Mary Paul, and kill Ringo. <laughs> and I don't have anything against Ringo, I just, I feel like John, I mean, John's kind of like a given. Like, he's like the free space of like, Fuck, Mary Kill. Um, I feel like Ringo's gonna be your new name when you transition, finally. <laughs> Ringo. You don't think that's a little cliche? You don't think that's a little like, like Beyonce, you know? I feel like that's a, you, he's a pretty singular person. Is there anyone, any other Ringos? Any other Oprahs? That lizard movie. Yeah, there was the lizard Rango, movie. Rango! Oh, Rango! <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Study up, Blue Sky. Um, Comment from the crowd. Blake's girlfriend totally brushes his bands behind his ear. I think that's supposed to say bangs. Okay, well. <laughs> Blake, you're doing great, buddy. They love you. She likes to stroke my hair. Get over it. I, um, I don't honk at ambulances, but if the lights are off, that's just a car. <laughs> and it's in my way. I, I think art is stupid just fundamentally because I don't want to, like, I, it's because it's subjective. Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm, I don't want to draw my own conclusions. I just want to know which of the dogs is winning poker. If, if a picture is worth a thousand words, I just need five of them to be. The Collie's a cheating bitch. Um, I hate vanity license plates. I hate joggers with vanity license plates. I think you said jocks. <laughs> jocks with vanity license plates? No, just jocks. Oh, just jocks in general? I hate jocks when they steal your lunch and call your mommy sexy. Um, <laughs> One Blake, you totally right. have a hot mom, don't you? She's, she's very beautiful. I love my One mom. One minute remaining. Wow. She's so okay. She's very wonderful. So, and, and Blake's mom walks in the fucking room and his head's stuck in a dryer. Oh. <laughs> uh, I said she was wonderful and beautiful. We don't have to make it sexual, Monty. Uh, I, I, I thought about using her name as a stage name. Her name is, her, her name is Corky Carlson. Um, well, he rolls off the tongue. Your right. mom's name is what? It's Corky. That's stupid as shit. All right, fuck you. What the fuck? My mom has a dumbass name. She What's your mom's she name? She better be really hot. Whatever. What? My mom's name Sherry, and she's hot. So she's Sherry, better than your mom. All right, well, Sherry. Who's met my mom before? Is it my mom hot? Thank you. Damn. Well, Corky's wonderful. Blake's mom's ugly. Oh. No. Okay. 
this is how we're gonna end that. I'm sure she's not subscribed to our YouTube channel. Fuck off. She's not, but I'm gonna send her these clips, and she's gonna be very offended, Monty. She's gonna, she's gonna insist that I don't come to Basic City anymore. That this is just a bad influence on me and my develop. I'm still 24. I've got one, one good year left before my brain fully develops and I'm stuck. Uh, all right. I have been the sluttiest person you know, Blake Carlson. My mom is hot. Her name is Corky. You can follow her on Instagram. Thank you very much. Let's get Monty back up here. Her name is Leah, her given name, but she's gone. Her nickname has been Corky since she was like five or six years old. What, did Nate Bechtel give her that name? Corky? Why does he own the name Corky somehow? It's the face paint. What silent oh. films has she started? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, everyone doing good out there? Uh, Y'all can do better than that. How are you feeling out there? We have a whole lot of fucking show left. So your next comic coming to the stage. He's uh, he's a very good friend of the show, a very funny comic. He's gonna call y'all racist, so just warning you now. Please give it up for Damian Anderson! I just wanna address why why the question you had for what Blake just said wasn't it was like, you were like, why is her name Quirky, and why didn't, like, that nigga just called his mom hot. Like, why was that your question? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, but give it up for Monty and Tyler. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. Look at y'all being cool. Go all cool with your dead dads and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rest in peace, Monty. I don't know, I don't know. Y'all just need to become real niggas like me, you know. With both of your parents being dead as You're fuck. wearing the same clothes you wore in high school. You're not doing anything. That's not... That's not true at all. <laughs> I'm wearing frat clothes now. All right, yeah. No, well, what, 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 one thing I was always worried about with them running this show, not even worried about, I just like, it's like, kind of like, there's a reason why I don't bring dates here, is because like, they found out I do comedy, and then, but they didn't, they found out my best friends run a show. And then they're like, oh, your best friends are funnier than you? It, you're not the friend completer. Like, it's giving blue Power Ranger energy, and I'm like, I'm at least the red Power Ranger, please. Please. Yeah. Uh, coming from the crowd, Damien's the neighbor in a sitcom that always walks in without knocking. <laughs> <laughs> There's Lord of that joke. <laughs> You're Kimmy Gibbler. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I love these guys. Um, it's gonna get very sentimental for like two seconds. These are my best friends, and I love them. And give it to them. <laughs> Thank you, guys, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done comedy in a week. Oh. My phone, my phone, my phone was broken for a week, so I was, I just... I haven't been here in a week, alright guys? We do the show once a week, you piece of shit! I live, yeah, technically I said I haven't been in a week. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I haven't slept since last night. <laughs> I haven't eaten since dinner. Damn, it has been a long time, and I ate three hours ago. <laughs> Either way, yeah, but my phone has been broken. It made me realize, you know, like, you know how, like, older niggas... <laughs> niggas <Sorry. just> came. <laughs> like, you know how older niggas be like, y'all, these phones are destroying y'all, and all that shit. And I just be like, I lived like a white man in the 1980s for a week. That shit is ass, nigga. That shit was ass. Like, I'm driving home, I'm driving to and from work every day listening to the classic rock station like a white man. I work a blue collar job, do auto glass and stuff. And so uh, comment from the crowd, Damien looks like an H&M mannequin who sells Adderall. <laughs> oh, thank you, sure. thank you, <laughs> thank you, whoever said that. Um, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah, I was talking about my, my shitty job. I, um, I, and then, so I'm at work, sometimes, usually, <laughs> usually. David explains the most obvious shit. He's like, I'm at work, not all the day, but like some of the day. <laughs> Usually, usually I'm at work and like I'm lit. It's man, I've been in the city last night, not for like 24 full hours, but like I'm usually I'm uh, usually at like when I'm doing man, like that type of job, like I put headphones in, but I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't listen to music or like a shitty podcast or something. So like I was just at work, like grasping for straws or like something to distract me from the fact that I like hate this shit. Like I was singing modern day slave hymns. One minute, right? Like I'm just, I'm just over here being like, like with, and I'm the only like nigga at my job, by the way. This is a very important fact. So like I'm at work and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, ew! You see, I'm trying to get in his bag. What a loser! <laughs> was that a that's so Raven transition? No, that was yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's how white he is. He don't know that song. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, no, that's Mario. That's Mario. Yeah, you're half black. I know you know that song. Yeah, I know, but you're, they're, they're, that made me think. You're like the black Waluigi. That's what you remind me of. <laughs> Just wham. The black Waluigi is still handsome. <laughs> <One minute. laughs> I'm black Waluigi. Wham. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then, then my white coworkers are looking at me crazy. They're like, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, white people just don't get it. And then I'm like, I don't know. You have to be the shittiest employee, I swear to God. You're at work, you're like, I don't, what should I do to pass the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're wrong, you're not wrong, I am. <laughs> no. But other than that, also, when was the last time y'all had to earn a, f all right, niggas and chicks with dicks in here, when was the last time y'all had to really earn a nut? Like, earn it. Like, no porn, no nothing. Wait, what, hold on. What are you asking? <laughs> when was the last time you had to earn a nut? This is about No, it. not that part. What you, who were you talking to? I'm asking to niggas and chicks with dicks. Transphobic. That was a transphobic. I, I just wanted to use the button, honestly. All right. It just feels weird coming from, like, your voice. <laughs> what about chicks with dicks? <laughs> chicks with dicks stand up. Because I had to, I had to earn that nut. I know what you guys are all thinking. You had to earn a chick with a dick? No, why, why didn't she just watch Love Island? <laughs> There's only attractive people on the show. I'm not a monster like you niggas. Comment right? from the crowd, Damien's favorite band is the Chixie Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, closing thoughts. Oh, closing thoughts is... Closing thoughts is... I realize I'm not as much of a monster as I realize because... You know, what I had to resort to in my spank bank was, you know, do you remember, you yeah, know, whoever the fuck said that, come to the side of the stage, I'm giving you something when he's done. You know, you know, you know, when, you know, after you masturbate to some disgusting shit and you're like, fuck. Like the Chixie dicks? But I used my imagination and my guilt wasn't there because I just thought of the girl that works at Wawa down the street from my job because she makes my sandwiches really nice. <laughs> she makes my sandwiches really nice and she looks like she's a good girl. All right? She looks like she's a good girl. Right when the music came on, you started capping, dude. You were like, she just makes my sandwiches. She's very sufficient in her job. I swear to God, I don't, I don't even know what she looks like. I ordered with my eyes closed. <laughs> I swear to God. She just smells nice, though. I swear to God. Either way, that's my name. My name's Damien. This has been my son.
That's my best friend. That's my best friend. It's Tyler's best friend too. Yeah, we're all. It's my best friend first. <laughs> That's true. But you know, like those people you meet, like where you're like, he's not funny, but he's a good guy. You know. I, I think he's funny. What? He's funny. Stop hating. Stop hating. Okay, well, hey, we'll see. Nigga. Please give it up for Andrew. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> oh my god, it's been so many, so many years. I was here for the very first show, uh, and that was pretty awesome. I got interrupted. There was a fight that broke out. Um, Addison Hall and Nick D tried to fight this guy, and it was pretty awesome. It was sick. <laughs> was that the dude I called Flip Top? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, my name is Andrew. I am half Japanese and half Irish. Uh, no, but that nigga is half Japanese and has a German ass last name, so that that means he's Dax's powers. I got a, I got dealt a bad hand. That's my. You deserve this for this. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Not the. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> that was anti <laughs> Probably should have had those on stage. Uh, <laughs> well, that was a lot of build up for not a lot of payoff. Hey, please continue. Got a lot. Of yeah, I feel like a one night stand girl. Just you look got hot. Got a rag. Ow. Your people didn't invent bukkake, so. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I got a good bukkake joke. Um, VR porn is pretty fun. <laughs> um, Speaking of. Bukkake. Speaking of Bukkake, but imagine like a VR porn, but it was a Bukkake. But the twist, you're the recipient. I feel like that exists. So you yeah, I mean, just like a bunch of dicks in your face just flying around. And, like VR causes people PTSD. And uh, imagine it's like today, like it's raining, and you close your eyes and you just like freak out and just see dicks coming out of the sky. Yeah. You look like the CEO of a new dating app. <laughs> 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 You look like you have a tattoo that says grindset mindset. Uh, if anybody, that's what happened to you unbutton the third button. If anybody comments uh, the best name for a dating app, I'll buy you a beer. Comment from cool. the crowd, Andrew looks like the guy you talk to when you try to return a cyber truck. <laughs> <laughs> no take backs, I get all the money. Uh, comment from the crowd, he looks like a computer science professor going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> Low key. Minus. Looks like I want to fuck him. <laughs> this is, this I feel like I gotta be a picture of the round and they keep looking back behind me. Touch my Comments the crowd. Uh, dating app named Half Japanese Me. <laughs> no, no, you now have to buy me a beer. Um. Anyways, yes. Uh, so I'm half Japanese and half Irish. Ooh, how how about how about this for a Japanese dating app? Adam Bomb and Eve. Ooh. Monty, you don't drink beer, but I'll buy you like uh, apple juice. I'll buy you the tastiest juice. Uh, comment from the crowd: Andrew is in whiteface. Hashtag cancel Basic City. He's half. Here's another yeah. dating app name from the crowd: Mating Jap. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he just made me say a slur. Fuck. Hold on. I mean, you just read it. It's fine. <laughs> Coming from the crowd, he looks like he just ate out the Michelin Man. <laughs> you did. It's frothy. You look like you love s'mores. <laughs> love s'mores. Michelin oh, love s'mores too man. much. We, we all quit hard drugs, but he's quitting s'mores. <laughs> quitting s'mores. Uh, date nap name, fucking around. No. Okay. No. All right. Yeah, I guess you could We still that. love you, though. Uh, Talk your shit. Jokes. Uh, so, yeah, I work, uh, hard labor, blue-collar man. I work with him. Yeah. Uh, I work with him. 
And you know, when it, like, when it comes around like lunchtime, it's just so fucking hot lately. I'm just not hungry. And I was like, you know, I think the kids in Africa got us duped. Oh. I just don't, I, dude, it's just really hot over there, so I just don't think they're really having an appetite. It's hot over here, fuck you. It's hot as shit. I'm no, not hungry. You bet in this weather, motherfucker. You bet in this humidity, motherfucker. Have you heard of starving children in cold places? I'm not going to have, we do be at work, and we're just like, we're going to skip this. Have you? It's cold. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> One minute remaining. Crazy. <laughs> Eskimos are doing fine. Hey, Eskimos Eskimos are are closing thoughts. Uh, Comment from the thoughts. crowd. Uh, he looks like a porno director who got too close. <laughs> I had to get that money shot. You know? That's uh, closing thoughts. Closing thoughts. Uh, You're sexy. I don't know. Uh, I'm actually I'm really happy for these guys. I'll just make it sentimental. You know, uh, I started stand up with Tyler back in like 2018, and yeah. I dropped out of it. It wasn't for me, but. To see him come this far, keep the show going, uh, meeting Monte the, um, on the process, and becoming great friends with everybody, I'm happy for them. Holy shit, this microphone's disgusting now. Alright, did they paper towels, bud? Huh? Yeah, there are. Alright, oh yeah, let me see those. Alright, how's everyone feeling? David, you doing good? David, you're here. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, anyone? Uh, you! You! Second bench behind in the middle. Do you wanna come get a prize? Tyler, play some prize music. Come up here, come get a goddamn prize. Hell yeah, give it up. You have to give us the dog in exchange love. Okay, I'm not. Yeah, go ahead. Pick anything you want. Just tell us what it is. You can pick anything. The dog's picking. The dog's picking. What is the dog gonna pick? The dog log! Hell yeah! Get it, huh? Alright, yeah, that's fun. I should do that more. Who else wants a prize? You! Second table behind there, in the back left corner. What, what's your name? Shit, that's a comic. You! Behind the first person who came by, what's your name? No, yes, you! What? What? Taylor? Taylor! Oh. <laughs> that. Please clip that. Taylor, uh, how long have you been coming to the show? Um, like, like last summer? Last summer? Come get a prize, yeah! Give it a shout out, Taylor! Come get a prize, music! Come get a prize, music! Come get a prize, music! Wait, hold on, hold on. Sheila, what's your favorite basic sensory memory if you have one? Oh, gosh. Fuck. I knew this was going to hurt my feelings. Um, how that you can lie. You. Right after I say you can lie, give it up for Sheila, everyone. Holy shit, okay. All right, we're going to come to the stage. Uh, she's uh, from New York. She moved here. She'll tell you all about it. She's very funny. Please give it up for Sabat. I'm so excited to be here. Um, my tits are sky high tonight. This is really like aspirational. I don't feel every every boyfriend looked down. So good. You guys are so good. Uh, no, I mean, these aren't real, so who gives a shit? But, um, no, they're real. They're, like, I wish, I want, like, They're imaginary? Shit. They're, no, they're, I mean, like, you know, it's part imagination. This part down here is imagination. This is mine. Yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. Okay. Now I'm getting embarrassed. Um, so. I want, why? Why is that? No, 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 I'm not easily embarrassed. I kind of like being embarrassed a little bit. It gives me, like, a rush. <laughs> I've been reading this book about a sociopath. Have you guys been reading it by Patrick Gag, whatever? Yeah, woohoo, it's so cool. So this sociopath is like, I fear no consequences. And I'm like, I'm kind of like that, you know? 
Um, I think like every person who gets up with a microphone has to be kind of like, I, but I think for me it's less like I fear no consequences and more like, oh, I know I'm gonna do awesome, which is crazier. Um, anyway, back to the boobs. Okay, so I, I wish like, I don't want silicone implants. I want like fucking mammogramming glands, you know? I want- Are you to trying to court a sugar daddy right now? No, I already have one. Um, yeah, you don't need too many. Go it's like really hectic. Um, but like mammogramming glands, like, I just want to be able to like feed a village, you know? I want to be useful. I feel like I don't have very many useful skills. Like, this is like, okay, you know, but like I can't save anybody. But imagine the water wars are upon us and all you need to do is have me drink water and then I will produce the most nutritiously dense substance out of my boobs. Like, that's, yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like fascinated with breast milk and I work at a restaurant. Fascinated? Like, like yeah. a scientist? Yeah, I actually drink cow's breast, like, I mean, we all drink cow's breast milk, I guess. I drink almond milk. Okay, cool, oh, cool, cool. I drink like, you know, I'm so like hardcore, I drink real uh, colostrum. Do you guys know what that is? It's from the first milking. So it's like- Ever? Close. Yeah, it's from the first, the first milking before the calf is, or the, human person is born and it's like <laughs> and so so you know like I do research on it you know like sometimes we do you research. don't do research I do you know those you are not doing research you are in the institute of health dude I read those articles you're unemployed oh I'm just I mean, reading I mean okay I did recently get fired um but uh, she got too close to the truth. <laughs> He's yeah. giving everybody breast milk for creamer for their coffee. No, it is funny. Though so my boss did message me last night and was like, I miss talking about comedy with you. <laughs> and I was like, well, maybe you shouldn't have fired me. Like, get off my DMs, dude. Um, anywho, so what's it? So when I used to be employed, I... <laughs> In a past life. Okay, and I also, I got fired because I missed the shift because I was in California at a Napa Valley wedding. Okay, so like... <laughs> I, that, that was their last. I, I think it was kind of like prejudice against that was the, wolf the, the uh, generationally wealthy. Yeah. Um, so that... It also so could that, have been hold for hold a couple of people stop. You didn't go to a shift at work because you were on the other side of the country. Yes, good reason. Were you in Taken? What the fuck are you talking about? No, no, I went on purpose. I got on a plane. To avoid work? No, 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 to go to the wedding. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. Wait, yeah. why is that hard? Guys, you get no, to the and you go to a wedding. <laughs> okay, uh, that actually just gives me PTSD from being in middle school. And you remember that song, like, jump, jump, and then you, you'd like have to freeze? What song was that? None. Uh, da, 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 da. How do you freeze in the air? There, there'd be like a froze, and I had, in seventh grade, I had a boyfriend in quotes, like, we only kissed, you know? Um, and we would dance Wait, in together at dances, except I was 13. You were 13? Oh, yeah, so that's fun. That was your boyfriend. You're not, you're like, oh, yeah, I didn't blow him in middle school. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't there yet. Um, I was a late bloomer, but then an enthusiastic one. Um, <laughs> And I remember like being really nervous about like what dance move I did during the break and like making sure it was cool. <laughs> yeah. Comment from the crowd. Regi Regina George asks. <gasps> oh my God, really? Uh, comment from the crowd. Sabet is so 30 rock, Jenna Maroney, it's insane. Okay, I can go die now. I'm so happy that's all I've ever needed to hear. Uh, but do you guys want to hear about the, the crowd? Crystal? This is a crazy therapy session to be listening to. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I did lie to my psychiatrist today. She was like, are you still in therapy? And I was like, yes, but I haven't seen her in a while. I just don't, I had, I had one therapist who forced me to break up with my boyfriend and I was traumatized. Was it your now. new boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no. Comment from the there. crowd. She's dressed like Elastigirl. <laughs> Think of something mean, you know? There are lots of mean things you could say to hurt my feelings. Um, mostly though, um, let's let's get back to that breast milk in the fridge. So I was uh, opening the fridge and inside was a bag.
with a date on it. With One a, minute remaining. With a white substance inside. And I was like, I know exactly what that is, and there is no debate on it. <laughs> I feel like this is what my sleep paralysis demon would say to me while I sleep. Like, trying to say, if I understood him. What would your sleep paralysis demon say? This thing? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so sleep you chose to bet. You happened upon breast milk. I happened upon breast happened milk, upon breast and milk. I fucking put it in my pocket, <laughs> and then I was Okay, like, so you happened upon breast milk, and it stole breast milk. Yep. Alright, so bet. Now, think about what you just said. Uh-huh. Yo, you got a pocket. I'm you got thinking some change. about it. I got some milk. I'm thinking about it, and I like what I hear. Uh, and I had this hot pocket hot waitressing pocket of fucking milk. And I was like, I'm gonna do this. And I went to the bathroom that people usually do coke in and I like nervously took out my bag of white stuff. Uh, and like, hey, chucked it. Hey, you do a sip? I, no, I didn't take a sip. I like, I like the whole bag down. And I still like, It was like a bag of Similac? No, way yuckier. It just like tasted like dry. Like, I mean, I mean it was wet. But you know how like a wine is dry? I'm making that up. I mean, we all know that wine is like wet and dry. Those are the two options, and usually people choose wet or something. But um, but if you have a refined palate, you choose dry, powdered wine. Um, anyway, I <laughs> I um I put it down me, and I was like ready to feel different, and I felt nothing. And no shit, you didn't feel anything. You what? stole some poor woman's breast milk and then gobbled it. She has more. She has whole titties full, and I'm jealous. I should take what she has in surplus. I also, love your collectivist morals. All, yeah. Okay, because it's all about. Them like, titties are the means of production. Yeah. Like. Okay. So then, I was a new employee at the time, and I know that I probably should stop this story, but I'm just gonna say that have you ever? Drank in breast milk and then met the person that the breast milk comes from. Just like knowing, like, yeah, your mom, but you always knew, and she knew. So this is she doesn't know that I've had her milk, you know. So this is like a dirty secret I have. So I'm like meeting her. Well, it's this is going on YouTube, Savette. So. I mean, I'm, yeah, I've already been fired. Like, what else do they do? <laughs> Closing thoughts. Closing thoughts. Well, closing thoughts are um, bazongas, you know, to quote Kale. Um, fucking boobies rule. And so does Basic City. And this is really fun. And thank you guys for welcoming me into the Richmond comedy scene. <laughs> Fuck, I just looked at it. Up, oh, there you go. Uh, oh, okay, you next time I'm coming to the stage, uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of my favorite people to have on the show, he's hilarious. Please give it up for Lias Hamlin! <laughs> I'm sorry to come ahead fucking stuff up on y'all anniversary and shit. I just broke the mic, but ain't nobody see it. What you trying to do? <laughs> you I don't know. I don't know how it works. What is it? He trying to do a little confetti. Don't be shooting shit at me, man. I've been the shot back, motherfucker. I think he's struggling. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! This dumbass had it upside down. That's a fucking idiot. I'm too strong. I'm not taking out like an old man's car. <laughs> I'm gonna look at confetti in this lap. That came out like the momentum of the show, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, y'all. Congratulations for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Three years. Woo! That's a long time. Some might say too long. <laughs> nah, wouldn't nobody say that. Wouldn't nobody say that. <laughs> Speaking of too long, you ever asked yourself when you're gonna stop masturbating? No. No. <laughs> Only me, like. You don't think about that shit, like, people don't tell you, when I first got into the game, when I first started masturbating, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be some shit I just did until I started having sex. <laughs> but no, nah, like, I remember masturbating as a young man, you know, you gotta find the time, and you gotta sneak off and shit like that. Masturbating as an adult is way better, like, you ain't gotta hide it, 
You can turn the volume up. You turn the volume up? Hell yeah. You're sick. <laughs> I'm a sick man with some sick thoughts. I'm putting my shit, I'm put my shit on the Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> it sounds like an orgy in that bitch. Like they fucking behind me? Like this should be amazing. Yo, the Marco, Marco. But I'm just thinking like, I'm, like, is this just my life now? Like is it a part of me? <laughs> I'm addicted to masturbating low key. Not that I have to do it every day, because you know what I'm saying, I be fucking too. So, but at the same time, Don't get it's like, twisted. you know what I'm saying, I could just masturbate. Wait, what's the, what's the time ratio between like, you fuck and then you're like, all right, time to beat my dick? The next morning, if she ain't there. <laughs> Fair? I guess. I'm a more than masturbator. It kind of gets me out the bed. I gotta get a nut out of the way so I can think clearly. <laughs> you chop down the morning wood? People go to jail for not masturbating in the morning. <laughs> you, you think the person that shot Trump masturbated that morning? <laughs> if he'd have got a nut out the way, he'd say, you know what, I ain't got to shoot this motherfucker. I ain't got to do that. Come on, he, he just walking around nuts full. You can't think of nuts full in this type of heat. Yeah, you can't be out here with full of nuts in this kind of heat. Yeah, you can't shoot when your clip's empty. <laughs> uh, comment from the crowd, hand jacked off before he came up here. I did not, I just told you I'm a warning masturbator. You're not listening. What's, what's the listening. most that you've done in one day? The most? Shit. Masturbating, not sex, the most. Alright, now let me say this, let me say this. When I was like, around masturbation age early on, <laughs> What age is that? Like? I was getting suspended a lot. Yo. Like, I was getting suspended from school a lot. So, like, nigga, a three day suspension? Nigga. <laughs> at, at, 14, at 14, I'm at the home by myself. Yeah, you got endurance, bro. One time my dad had to take me to the hospital to get an IV. I, was, I ain't had nothing left. <laughs> I had nothing left. He, I was on suspension too. What? <laughs> Y'all know me our first time ordering some You said you were empty, your dick looked like breath in cold air? I've never thought about that. Like you can just actually empty balls and they can be really like yeah, empty. Yeah, they'll get light. And they get like, what, like, there's no- You ever seen an accordion right? when you do this? Yeah? Yeah, that. Oh my God. Cause you know like the ball skin, you know the ball skin is a very delicate skin. Yeah. I know. Tell, tell me brother. Cause like that ball, when them balls get, get swell up in that skin, mm -hmm. like the ball sack look full. It look like a, right. like a ball sack supposed to look. It do, it do. When you done fucking, your ball sack look like something you ain't never seen before. How that balloon? I've never investigated them after. Mm -hmm. I'm like some you you ever you ever stepped on a packet of ketchup? Yeah. That's what your ball sack look like. Well, it's a rough life. Thank you, brother Free my cousin. Thank you, brother Hammond. Free my cousin. Oh my gosh, that makes me feel bad for men. Don't feel bad. Laz is a ball boy. We That's don't crazy. have like the same expo. But we don't have periods either. Oh, uh, so comment from the crowd. My yeah. nuts ain't never bleed. All right, comment from the crowd. Uh, God made a mistake not making Laz a lesbian. He got that dyke body. <laughs> <laughs> comment from the crowd. I ain't, I ain't, mad. I ain't mad at it. Comment from the crowd. Me and Laz went to high school together. He was the guy who always tried to show you porn. <laughs> I had a whole boy we called Porn and Norman because he was the first one with the CD burn. Man, when he brought Booty Talk 101 to school, let me tell y'all something. That was a game changer. Uh, comment from the crowd. I, I wish I could change time so that Laz could have been born 15 years later and experienced VR porn during that three day suspension. He deserves it. I appreciate that. I really do. I hate Michael. Thank y'all. I'm going to get a oh, Whoa, wait a minute. I can't leave on that note. I got to stay another 30 seconds. Strike a chord. she gonna get buried in. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like they making them kind of plans, you know what I'm saying? With the states and shit like that. All right, I'm going for real this time. Thank y'all. <laughs> Cool, same from last week. Laz, I'm gonna give you a Jesus and coffee mug. I feel like that's your bag. You drink oh, coffee? No, I put a little Hennessy in it, though. Okay, sick. So, hell yeah. One more time for Laz Hamlin, everyone. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all still have a... Who's someone who's been coming here for more than two years? Come, uh, raise your hand. Come here. 
talking about. Yeah, you. Come on, come up here. Come on, come on. Yeah, what's your What's your name? What's your name? Oh, it's Tiffany. I'm not wearing my glasses. Fuck off. Give it up for Tiffany, everyone. Tiffany, come get applause. Goddamn it. Some prize piggy music would be lovely, Tyler. I don't have prize piggy music. Hell yeah. All right. All right. What the fuck? All right. Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany, how long have you been called to Mason? Oh, can I see that? Like two and a half years. Two and a half years. All right. What's your favorite basic memory? Probably any um, moment with Watu. Oh, Watu. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's dead now. Damn. Yeah. He did ayahuasca and fell off a bridge. Please give it up for Tiffany, everyone. And keep going for your next comic coming to the stage. Uh, there's actually two comics. They're actually the people who gave us this room three years ago because they couldn't handle it. But uh, <laughs> they started doing comedy when me and Tyler started doing comedy. We love them. Please give it up for Jack Parker and Will Miner. Oh, dear. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell fentanyl. 
racist. When did you become a dad in Bermuda after happy hour? <laughs> this is what people from Montana think Jamaicans yeah. are. <laughs> You know, yeah, like, you know, the president of Jamaica, Chet Hanks. <laughs> I love going up after the most historic moment in Basic City history. <laughs> yeah, compared to the most underwhelming concept in Basic City history. <laughs> Kale paid for Chet Hanks' master class in how to speak pet squad. I love how all you did was add a lay and a tube. This is just how you dress, actually. <laughs> That's very true. That's we can the see the straw one. isn't in the coconuts. That's all, that's all I have. <laughs> that's all I got. No, I'm working on a new fashion. I like to call it Tropagoth. <laughs> it's hard to see, but my Hawaiian shirt has the Grim Reaper on it. It's very cool. Because, uh, you know, Tropagoth is, you know what they say, life is a beach and then you die. Uh, yeah, I, uh... Yeah, it's a, that was a tough act to follow. <laughs> Not gonna, no, I, I feel goth in my heart, but I never know how to present as goth. I don't know how to be goth aesthetically. Like, if I was trying to impress a goth girl, my best idea would be to put Halloween decorations all over my house. Like fake spider webs and, uh, and you know, like one of those animatronic skeletons that goes, oh! <laughs> into my eye. I'm starting to think this is the plan. They're fighting the world's most giant comedian outside. <laughs> I don't have a shot. I can't take the shot. Now, my best move when I'm trying to impress a goth chick is I put peeled grapes into my ass. And then when she reaches in there and goes, what are these? I go, eyeballs. <laughs> For, the river of sticks? <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. These fucking Philistines over here. Um, uh, comment from the crowd. Forgetting Sarah Marshall too. <laughs> comment from the crowd. This is the kale that fucks now, y'all. Yeah. Forgetting that I got fired as the assistant manager at Marshall's. <laughs> this is the most directive uh, DVD Jonah Hill I've ever seen. <laughs> this is Paul Blart on Ozempic. <laughs> I feel like the, I'm dressed like half of Adam Sandler's roles right now. Yeah. Uh, no, I am in a committed relationship. Uh, the only problem is, uh, I am fucking now, you're correct. But Facebook has figured out. Uh, it's like my Facebook ads used to be about like Dungeons and Dragons dice sets and shit like that. Now I get ads for stuff like Dungeons and da Dragons dice themed nipple rings. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Jack had to take his wallet out of his back pocket because it made his ass hurt. <laughs> no, what a dork. <laughs> Bitch, I was holding Will's wallet so it wouldn't be pressing on his neck. Yeah, I'll make that ass It's hard enough there are goth chicks in here. I had to deal with his dick on there, too. I didn't want the wallet on my ass, too. Oh, I'll make that ass hurt. Behind the one minute, we're going to stick behind a bunch the studio of grapes of the giant comedian. <laughs> uh, no, I also, I love the, uh, whenever you get in a new relationship and you have to play that game of, like, uh, sexual chicken, where you're trying to figure out each other's kinks without saying anything out loud. It's like, how many times can I joke about being pegged before it happens for real? And it turns out the answer is five. I've been pegged, everybody. or something? No. I mean, no. No. Alright. Well, I bought 10 cans of shaving cream for nothing. That was $33.79. Do we have comments from the crowd? Uh, that's not the first cream pie in Kale's face. He fucks now. Yes, he does. <laughs> and that was it. Alright. Well, your next comment coming to the stage. Uh, they're, uh, they hosted the Valentine's Day show here before. Uh, they're the host of the Roost show. 
That's coming up. They're very funny. Please give it up for Roz! <laughs> anti-bullying suit. It completely conceals every characteristic, so y'all can't bully me. Uh, you look like a Disney character on a smoke break. <laughs> my head is off. I'm ruining someone's childhood. Absolutely. Uh, are y'all enjoying yourself so far? Oh, uh, yeah. This microphone sure is creamy. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I recently heard that in North Carolina, they've banned wearing masks in public. Uh, can everyone boo for that real quick? Thank you, thank you. Uh, hold on real quick, comment from the crowd. Roz looks like a gay tooth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you don't floss. <laughs> okay, comment from the crowd, comment from the crowd. Roz looks like a baby crowning. Just kidding, that wasn't a comment from the crowd, that was me, I was scared. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I've been hitting a lot of misses lately, what, what if this goes wrong? I was born with this fucked up haircut. Um, oh, Monty, I'm gonna do a boyfriend test. Does that outfit make them look fat? <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go with Lena Bonnet on your ass. Okay. Um, I, uh, I don't know, masks got, got canceled and that pisses me off because like, you know, obviously public health and safety, but a little part of me gets it um, because when everyone was masking in COVID, I ended up running into a big problem, which is that some people have really sexy voices. Yes. And really not sexy faces. Um, what people? I uh, clap if you've encountered this before, please. Yeah. Yeah, like you, like you hear someone talking when you hear they talk like this. And then usually I don't do this, but and then in front of the art fucking Kelly. <laughs> It's the worst way to find out that someone has adult braces. <laughs> After you slid in their DMs. Um, I don't know, it, it, I, I get it, you know, I had that same experience personally with David Attenborough. Uh, you guys know David Attenborough? Yeah, he voices nature documentaries. And I, I like his voice so much that I have started just putting nature docs on like as my like, like sex behind, you know, background music. You guys know you have to pick a show on Netflix while you're fucking. Um, it's not for the animals, it's for David. I love you, David. Um, but it, for some reason, I had never seen his face before. I wasn't that bothered by it. And then I was watching a nature documentary on birds uh, mating. Rituals. And um, for some awful reason, they decided to put David on camera. And he is like just a walking lump of a guy, he's like... You're one to talk right now. <laughs> he, he looks like the word oatmeal. He is so old, um, and it really ruined it for me, you know? Um, I was just imagining you fucking as he's like... You see him? As the, as the male... The male meerkat returns to his burrow. <laughs> One minute, it really right. is. It's a bunch of Deep. birds and then just leave it out and Deep burns inside. Birds like. uh, Comment from the crowd. Roz looks like the thing on Tyler's neck. <laughs> it's me too, buddy. Don't come at my fucking neck. It's me too. You. you gotta protect your neck, Tyler. Um, I'll leave y'all with this one. I don't really understand the pro-life versus pro-choice debate, you know? Um, I feel like pro-life, especially for how like big it is in America, just doesn't add up in my brain. Because I don't know if, if y'all will get this, but from every piece of popular American media I've ever seen, we love to kill children. 
We love it. Our Congress loves it, okay? We love fucking uh, If there's a kid kids. here right now and he got killed, I'm gonna kill I, I kill a child every week. Yeah, I believe that. It's my treat for being good. <laughs> I, stand up. Like, I bring them to my tiki bar and then I, I bury them in the sand. <laughs> I give them a pina colada with some extra ingredients in it. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, so that's where we're drawing the line. No, 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 okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You can kill a kid, just don't kiss it. Everyone gets so offended now when you talk about Murder the child, just god. don't take a shirt off. <laughs> this is simple. I mean, listen, for. for take a kid. Throw it on the train tracks, put it in a hoodie. Bottom I in, bottom out. Yeah. I should have known. Choke a child with a turtleneck on. <laughs> what is it? What about the turtleneck? And the teacher joke. I don't know what that means. Um, anyways. <laughs> uh, no, but like, 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 like Star Wars, really big thing, right? Anakin was like the white boy of the month for several months, okay? And he killed a bunch of those fuckers. All right, Breaking Bad. Have y'all seen Breaking Bad? Yeah, yeah. Killing children is like the main plotline of every episode. <laughs> we can't get enough. We can't get enough. All right, like, okay. Monsters, Inc., right? Great movie, fantastic movie. Um, but they start out the movie as the conflict being that monsters are, are hiding under beds and scaring kids uh, for energy. And the happy resolution is that monsters are terrorizing kids by doing stand-up <laughs> for energy. Um, I've been Ross. I Thank you all so much. Week. Shut up, Tyler. Have a good night. Well, I don't care. Hopper's on stage because the whole reason I'm doing stand-up is because of this hottie bitch over here. <laughs> and I would love to pie Hopper in the face. Are y'all down for that? Yeah. As payment, uh, reparations. Wait, yes, put some, please. Put some on you. Have a place of pie music. Dear Mr. White Man, I wish you understood what the world is really like when you're living in the hood. <laughs> Okay, let's do some prizes. Uh, give me some prize music. I uh, don't have prize music. <laughs> Alright, you, right there, come get a prize. Yes, you. Hell yeah. What's your name? Marion, pick a prize. Okay. The Santa Snow Club. Hell yeah, give it up for Marion, everyone. Dickhead, you right there, Andy, come get a prize. Time to play the prize music. I have prize music. Pick a prize, Andy. The egg, what is that thing? The extractor. The extractor, what the fuck? Rolled eggs instantly and perfectly. All right, give it up for Andy, everyone. And keep it going for your next topic on this day. I love him, you're going to love him. Get it for Louis Carroll. City, basic city, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, it's been an amazing show. We've had a, a fucking giant, it's fucking amazing. Everybody's like dressed up, and I just feel like left out because this is, this is how I dress up like every time. Louis thought the most giant comic was a myth from home. <laughs> that's, fucking, that's the funny thing, bro. Like, I'm semi sober right now, so like, when <laughs> what does semi mean? Half. What, what is happening? 0.5? Okay. What are Uh Give it up for Oz, everybody. They look 
like a swollen tongue. Comment from the crowd. Louis looks like he needs a pie in the face. Crowd, what do y'all think? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, keep going. All right, every joke you tell uh, that gets a laugh, you won't get a pie. It's until you bomb. All right. Uh, I have a new set, guys. I'm trying to work on new stuff, so... Uh, uh, brain food. What's considered brain... That's a laugh. What's considered brain food? Fish. What's not considered brain food? Goldfish. People, I, I think that's a pie. Was that your punch? I'm so nervous. People. <laughs> and Louis, if you get laughs consistently and you don't get a bomb, you, you get a pie rouse in the face. Oh boy. <laughs> Getting too excited, you haven't seen my son yet. Uh, yeah, brain food. Hell yeah, brother. Fuck yeah, Louis. I know what I get pied. Brain food. What's considered brain food? Fish. What's not considered brain food? Goldfish. <laughs> now while having sex. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm dressed as a pirate. That's what the banana is. You're dressed like a street tough. <laughs> I'm dressed like an out of work sushi chef. You're dressed like a trans man in high school. <laughs> Guards my garden in front of my house now. 
All right, you're caught up. Grace, go. Yeah, and uh, Monty and I hang out, so I always look at Garden Puppet, and I I don't know how to do ventriloquism, <laughs> so, especially when I'm holding a microphone. <laughs> Monty, do you have your walkie-talkie? I don't have my walkie-talkie. Can I shove it up her ass? Are you going to do inside jokes between us this entire set? No. Uh, you think you guys can guess from context clues that we have walkie talkies <laughs> together, right? You're up there looking like Jennifer Dunham. <laughs> Say, I just got a comment from the crowd, Steph Dunham. <laughs> Interesting. <Plenty>. Um. <laughs> I mean, I can be the uh, fake voice for the puppet. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to the puppet. Talk to the puppet. Would be, would, would be a racist Jeff Dunham puppet. <laughs> 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 He's Ahmed before he blew up. No, Jeff Dunham doesn't think black people can have that accent. <laughs> I'm sorry. Racist. I'm sorry. Tried to be brave and turned out to be. Racist. Jeff Dunham just thinks all black people are dead. <laughs> oh. All right, Tyler tried to be funny. We're in this together, Racist. Tyler. That made me feel better. It's puppet's curse. And a black man. It is. is. Anything I say tonight, it's not me. It's the spirit of Garden. Oh, that's there. me. No, no. I'm the voice of the puppet right now, so <laughs> don't do that over. Okay, tell a, tell a garden puppet joke. Uh, goldfish! Goldfish! Oh, yeah! Grapefruit! Grapefruit, yeah! Monty's cat. Da da da. Yep. Mia. Mia. Wow. <laughs> um. This is just Grace confessing all the shit she does at my house through a puppet. It is me confessing. Oh my God. Speaking of confessions. <laughs> Monty. What? Did someone pull out a gun? What's going on? Why? Is someone yell? Oh my God. I saw your penis one time. What? <laughs> Two. Oh, actually, I remember that night. It was when I was wearing those green shorts. I, it's, they, sure, probably. Oh, you were too busy wearing the dick, huh? No, I saw it and I immediately was like, I'm going home. Don't touch me. But I'm on top of a weird hug, too. I do you remember that. I didn't hug you. Oh. I immediately <laughs> hugged. Uh, yeah. One minute remaining. That's why I had sex with my neighbor. To forget about my penis? Because I couldn't live with Monty's penis being the most recent one I've seen. Because, for those of you guys who don't know, um... Yeah, do y'all see the dark cloud that just floated over my head? <laughs> I... gay. Uh, by choice, though. You know, like, uh, when our Wait, puppet... Wait, is the puppet talking, or is it you talking? Um, or is well, penis talking? What's it's going on? me, but we're one together tonight. So, um... I'm coming from the crowd. <laughs> Pippi bong stalking. <laughs> <laughs> coming from the so crowd. True. That puppet is from the inner city. <laughs> I do live in Jackson Ward, so... Yeah, that's what it sounds like. There. That's where my penis lives, in Jackson Ward. <laughs> yep, um, anyways, uh, you know, like when a Republican says that sexuality is a choice, so that's how you know that they're bi and just choosing straight. Yeah. It's like I have straight thoughts, I just don't act on them. <laughs> that's a sin. <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> um, Wow, that usually is a better joke. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have brought him that you saw my dick randomly, you weirdo. I know! Maybe that threw off the maybe that gave off a weird vibe. Honestly, Monty, I I I And you're dressed like a child too, it made it even stranger. With a doll. I'm waiting for Chris Hansen to walk in. With the doll! I was waiting for the right time to tell you. Oh, during the three year anniversary of my right time! Alright, closing thoughts. I, I, <laughs> we have like eight comics to get through. Closing thoughts. Oh uh, shit. Comment from the crowd. Dick rating. No. No. <laughs> no, it was literally like, you know when you're a kid and Thank you see God your dad's dick? Thank God the L.I.E. kept going. 
When you're a kid and you see your dad's dick and it's like, I'm not supposed to... I got dad dick? Fuck yeah, dude. dick looks like, but I know I saw it at one point. Nah, dude, you saw my dick and you thought of your dad. I have a it dream. It looked like E.T. <laughs> E.T. That's a long finger, baby. I have a dream. That's, that's the end of that. I think so. Thanks. Though, how much are we working with? Shut the fuck up. Uh, uh, comment, comment. Wait, here's one for Louie. He looks like the voice when you press one for English. That's fucked. All right. <laughs> Your next comment coming to the stage. Uh, you saw him earlier. He got a prize. Please, uh, he hosts the gay show on Earth at Hardywood Brewing tomorrow. It's a great show. There's going to be drag dancers, all that. They do it every year. It's amazing. Please give it up for the King Baby himself, Cade Wonder! <laughs> What's up, Basic City? It's me, the one that told the Chixie Dicks joke. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What's up, Basic City? It's me, the other person that saw Monty's penis. Wait, 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 Cade, what else did we see? His wand ball. You saw one night? Why is this a two-parter? Why? Is it was wrinkly. <laughs> I told my wife, I told my wife about You told it. you told me Don't, what, am I gonna see a stranger's penis and not tell my wife? <laughs> she, I feel like she was in the kitchen like washing dishes and she was like, something's wrong. She said, Ew. there's been a penis. Why are people saying ooh about my penis? It's just, it's my dick, I'm sorry. Because they! Monty's going through the, like seven shown. stages of grief of someone seeing his penis. <laughs> but it was so cool at first. What? And now it's sad. No, Kate? it's okay. It's nice. It was good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, Kate said they did a double take. No, yeah? no, no, no. I no. looked away immediately. No. I, I, yeah, I wrote a novella. <laughs> Fuck you. I hadn't seen a dick in seven years. Oh my god, the I broke your dick so much? I did. Alright, that's fire. <laughs> I have a dream. <laughs> okay. I actively have shaving cream on my feet already. I like this. Uh, you guys want to do an ultimate? So I was Kate gonna... has little elf feet. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was going to wear a costume, but then I didn't because I got busy with my life. Thank you. I am very busy. Uh, but I have an ultimatum instead. You guys like, what, you have a question? Not so slim shady. Oh, sorry. What size shirt? Shoe! Shoe! Y'all are really oh. feet. So this is a men's size eight. It is about 0.5 bigger because I have brick ass feet and tiny toes. <laughs> eight point five, eight, eight men's. What do you need? Sorry, what was the question? What do you need? <laughs> oh, I wear a, a seven men's or a, a eight and a half women's. Are we gonna pay less? What's going on? <laughs> I'm being served. Okay. Um, thank you. I'm glad we had this moment. What's your name? I like your dog. Oh, thank you. Um, Motherfucker! <laughs> What's my nickname? When I go by Sadie. Sadie? Do you like gay people? Do I like them? Too much hesitation. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind them, but like, what's a strong word? <laughs> So speaking of gay people, I have an ultimatum for Tyler and Monty. They can either kiss or get pied in the face. I will totally kiss. I have been wanting to kiss Tyler for literally three fucking. Does years. Tyler consent? Tyler's a pussy, uh, dude. I'll take the pie. <laughs> Tyler's a big pussy. He doesn't want to kiss my mixed. Wait, 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 give me another one. Kiss. Tyler fucking racist. We did it. Wait, Grace, give me another one. They both get one. I have to get one. I yeah. suffer for your fucking homophobia. Yeah. Oh, he he wanted it. Dude. People are <laughs> oh, It would have been if we kissed. It would have been. I wanted you to kiss.
kiss because it would have been recorded. Yeah. I'm sorry. I love that straight boys kiss. Check, um, the, check the first year anniversary picture. We kissed that. No, um, we didn't. That was photoshopped. So I used to, uh, I used to pose oh, on my face as a kiss. Oh, he's so sad. Every, sorry, rest of the comments. We're done after this. <laughs> My favorite thing at Basic City is making Monty sad. One minute remaining. I, this is my last Basic City. I'm stepping down. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a house someone Tyler wants to kiss. Whatever. All right, just pretend this is Tyler's cum, okay? Just your dick off. Can I? I don't want his cum. I want his kiss. <laughs> Go ahead, pie me. He's I a want, romantic. I guess it's cool, like a kiss. Wait, can I, t can I pie you with Tyler so it's like you kissed him? Yes, please. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, I'm going to tell a joke real quick, too. Uh... What if Tyler and Monty kissed and Tyler wasn't weird about it? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. Set up punchline. All right. There you go. Do you taste it? It tastes like yes. Marlboro Reds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick joke. So... Uh, this past June, a lot of people, I think, in my life learned that June, in addition to being Pride Month, is also Mental Health Awareness Month for men. Just men. Just men's mental health. And a lot of people are like, what the I fuck? I need mental health awareness now. That's how I won't kiss me. <laughs> Monty, you're scaring the hoes. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hoe that's scared. <laughs> so, whatever. But yeah, a lot of people are like, oh my god, why would Pride Month, the most important month, be with I was men's Tyler, mental Pride health? Me. Be with Men's Mental Health Month. Ew, what? Little do they know, it's because feelings, as we all know, are gay. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, you're feeling something? What? In your butt? <laughs> all right, cool. I want to get out on an actual joke. Uh, my name is Kay Wonders. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for coming to the show.
Joe Biden is... Isn't that so funny, guys? It took me... I want to talk about it so bad. What if he dies instead of Trump? He's going to die, and then Trump's going to survive an assassination attempt. This is the yeah. funniest timeline ever. And Tyler will kiss me. Fuck. Um, Mama's going to say You guys, I have a confession to make. I have a confession to make. I saw Monty's dick. <laughs> Saw their dicks kiss each other. Wow. I wish. With tongue. I'm sorry that I waited until your three year anniversary show to say this. Uh, but I saw it. I did see it. Did you make a portrait of my dick? <laughs> um, you guys, the other day I heard about this special tree. I heard about this tropical tree. Um, I heard about this tropical tree where the fruit tastes like pussy. Can I get a round of applause for that? That's right, the fruit tastes like pussy, but there's a catch. The fruit only tastes like pussy if you drink a little bit of liquor first. And it's like the combination of these flavors makes the fruit taste like delicious pussy. Exactly. That's what it tastes like. Um, I went on a journey to find this fruit, right? And I had a little bit of tequila before I tasted it. And I thought to myself, wow, I'm just like Donald Trump. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm taking shots for this country. It's got to get on the right ear. It's got to get on the right ear. Yes. A spider? Where's the spider? Where's it at? Holy shit! Where? Oh, damn. Did, wait, he wants time too? This mic's going on too long. Wait, are you gonna kill it? Okay, wait, you guys, I have another one. I have another one. Oh! I don't like it. I don't like it. I bet that spider, bet that spider probably saw my dick too. <laughs> Yo, where'd he go? Okay, it's gone now. I, you should stay up there. Okay, I'm gonna stay up here. Um, when I was growing up, everyone wanted to be a marine biologist. Yo, that's real. Yeah, what did you want to be when you grew up? A construction worker. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ask me. And, no, anyone in the crowd? Uh, someone in the front, what did y'all want to be when you grew up? When you were a child? Kissed by Tyler. Who said that? <laughs> Did any of you have dreams? No. Okay. You, Zookeeper. Again? Oh, no. That's, that's Sadie. Yes. Thank you. Yes, but I did not want to be a zookeeper. I wanted to be a children's illustrator. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> illustrating children. <laughs> you I don't know what illustrating means, but gross. <laughs> Do you want to pie Emily? No, I want to pie her. You want to pie who? Oh, your friend? Yeah. Like I right think now? Fair. Let me give Okay, sure. Here's some pie. Here's some pie. Yeah. Music. All right. I'm delivering it. Service. That's right, I'm a pimp. I'm operating. Clap for me. I'm operating an escort service. 
thank you. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Emily, there's a lot of escort services out there. What's your niche? What's your gimmick? Um, and in my escort service, the clients don't get to pick what kind of experience they receive. That's right, when you come to my escort service, you might get fucked, you might get sucked. I'm gonna call it coin flippers. Cause you might get head or you might get tail. Hey everybody, that's a layered pun. My name is Emily Erbland, uh, shaving cream in your eyes burns. Give it up for I'm gonna show you something really fucking cool. Grace, come here. Come here, come on, come on stage, come on stage. Uh, here, let me see your mic again. Okay, so Grace, Grace has this very special talent where she can name any winner of the Amazing Race, any season. Survivor, shit, oh, uh, really? Ah, uh, fuck, where well, there goes that bit, fuck. Before Survivor, I wasn't in the Amazing Race, but I can't name every single winner, but I can of Survivor. Okay, uh, someone name a season of Survivor. <laughs> Season one. <laughs> season one was Richard Hatch. Correct. Anyone else? It's nine. Nine was um, Danny Boatwright. Yes. Seventeen was Sugar. No, 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 it wasn't Sugar. Sugar should have won. Great. Wrong. <laughs> because you look like it. <laughs> look at that, kid. Hell yeah. The similarities are uncanny. Okay, there's two comics backstage. Okay. There's two comics backstage. I don't know which one of y'all is coming up here, so y'all should fight to the death. Oh, shit. Wait, who is next? Okay. So, all right. Well, your next comic coming to the stage. Uh, <laughs> I hate looks bad. I don't know. Okay, your next comic coming to the stage. He's, he's new to the city. He's very funny. He's a good guy. He's dressed... We'll, you'll see. Please give it up for Ayush! What the fuck is going on, Basic City Comedy? That's what's up! Give it up for Tyler and Monty! I forgot the name for a second! This is three years? That's amazing! That's amazing, everybody. Give it up for Thank that. Thank you so much, Palestinian Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> oh, I'm too nervous to look like a Palestinian. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I grew, I'm Indian, and I grew up pretty conservative, so I learned about gay people late in life. Very late in life. Seventh grade, I think that's pretty late. Um, like, like, I knew about PEMDAS before pussy. I, <laughs> I was doing logarithms before I knew about lesbians. Don't even. I was doing trig before I knew about trans people, right? So, so I've been trying to like catch up in life, like learn more about the gay community. I went to a gay club for the first time this past weekend. That's what's up. I guess we're all like that one chick. We they just you guys just tolerate gay people, I guess. <laughs> no, I went to a gay club. All right. Yeah. Why, why does Ayush look like he's about to tell us that the worst part of prison is the Dementors? Hari Puttar! Hari Puttar! Yo, I, uh, going to a gay club was great. I'm on a journey to becoming a lesbian, actually. Uh, do you guys, you guys, do you guys know how, like, Buddhists have, like, seven steps to Nirvana? No, only you know that. Alright. <laughs> That's strictly a huge knowledge. <laughs> I feel like it's a it's a major world religion. For those of you who don't know, there are like seven steps to reach enlightenment, according to the Buddhists. I'm not I like take twelve steps. Hey, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about uh, what I'm what I'm trying to say is I'm on like step six of seven to becoming a lesbian. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step one was uh, watching lesbian porn. Check. Got that done at an early age. <laughs> yeah, that's right, class. Thank you. I appreciate it. So. I used to watch this lesbian porn and it's like, huh. <laughs> that's uh, fascinating. <laughs> very so that's where that is. <laughs> very interesting. Okay. This is a clitoris. Okay. Uh, one minute remaining. Damn. All I right. used to thought a clitoris was a dinosaur. <laughs> Clitosaurus Rex, yes, thank you. Uh, I like that voice. It's just my voice. It doesn't sound like this, that's a real voice. It's like not, it's not, it's just what my dad sounds like. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, and then at this gay club, I got humped by a lesbian, hit on by a gay man, and then knighted by a lesbian. I'm pretty, I'm, uh, yeah. Th Two, this three, is my four. two, three, four. I feel like the knighting counts as two. I, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Like I, I've, I've, I'm signing a Subaru tomorrow. I'm gonna get a welding job soon. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. Um, oh my God, you're like one of the shitty code kid next door who we didn't know the number of. You're like 124. You don't go on any cool missions, you're just like beating up crossing guards and shit. <laughs> crossing guards are good. You're just playing decoys and Chris Hansen's house. That's what's up. Good yeah. name, I'm not allowed to go next door because there's kids. <laughs> that was pretty good, that was pretty good. That's my time, guys. My name is Ayush Patodio. Give it up for Monty, everybody. Give it up for Ayush, everyone. If you want to see more of my YouTube, you can catch him in the background of the next Billie Eilish music video. Alright, we got a couple comics left. Are you also having fun out there? Who hasn't got a prize who wants a prize? That's my best friend since like 10 years. Fine, come get a prize. I was living with him when I started this show. Tyler, play me some prize picking music. I don't have prize music. You want to say something? Okay. Give it up for Leo, my best friend since middle school, everyone. Also, real quick, I want it to be known that Tyler gave the Indian guy the Queen Elizabeth mug. <laughs> it only, it's her death mug. It's her death mug. You can write on it, you can draw dicks on it if you want. Apparently mine. Yes. Alright. Well, we only have a couple of comments left. Are y'all having fun out there? So cool. Who hasn't got a prize? Who else hasn't got a prize? Anyone's prize? Hell yeah! Come on up here, brother. Yeah. Tyler, play the prize play music. Don't have prize music. Smoke it out. Come on, pick a prize. Pick whatever you want. Anything you want. Hell yeah! What's your name, brother? Leo. Leo. You look like my brother. That's really weird. That's strange. Have you seen my penis? <laughs> Warner, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that was awesome. Alright, your next comic coming to the stage. Uh, he's been on our showcase before. He's a fucking absolute killer. I love him. You're gonna love him. Give it up for D-Lo B. serious point of the show and I, I just want to bring it down for a little while if this this is very serious I want everybody to, to look at me when I say this don't you put no motherfucking pass sauce on me around here when I'm over here okay? pass I, sauce. I don't give a fuck what you call it this is don't don't hit me with no pad I need you to know how serious I am right yeah now he's up there that. dressed like punch daddy <laughs> it's the world's most horizontally giant comedian <laughs> Fuck y'all, I can just easily say that. I don't have to be politically correct, what the fuck? So the first time you don't want pot. <laughs> you look like... <laughs> That's a fat joke, and uh, I don't like it, you know? He heard pot, he said, ooh. <laughs> and 
no sweet potato nowhere. Y'all fucking laughing. He's like, ain't a yam in this motherfucker. One motherfucking apple. Oh, fucking preserve. Hey, man, uh, I got a homeboy who a mover. Uh, word? That's not a euphemism. He don't sell drugs. He really picks shit up and take it somewhere else. That's not like a real... Wait, no you talking about J-Rod? Yeah, I'm talking about J-Rod. I won't even say his name, but... What is the duvet? <laughs> what is the duvet? Yeah, D-Lo, what's the duvet? That's the shit you Is that what the D stands for? Duvet <laughs> It is low on the bed. Fuck yeah. How old am I duvet? How old am I duvet? D-Lo? Uh, so look, I got a homo who moves shit, and he, he be calling me, telling me how heavy furniture is. And that made me remember, like, all my furniture in my grandma's house was heavy as fuck. I don't know if y'all have this same type of problem at y'all grandma's house. I don't know, like, for some reason, back in the olden days, the heavier the fucking furniture, the more sturdier it was. I don't like this shit because women don't move shit, and niggas do. And, and it was just me picking this heavy ass oak wood up. This shit too fucking heavy. Uh, my grandma bought me my, uh, my, my bedroom, my bedroom set. Wait, right? your grandma's still alive? Yeah, bitch, my grandma's still alive. I don't know, girl. We ain't got many years left. Is Let me. 200 years old? How old are you, d <laughs> Aren't you like 52? I don't want to okay. result. I don't, I don't want to result in name calling. You know. You dress like an OG. <laughs> you look. You dress like you're about to talk to me with your leg on something. You know what I'm saying? D L O G. D L O G. But D stands funny. for dad. Say <laughs> unk. Yeah. My grandma bought me my bedroom set, right? And uh. My grandma bought me that chair. <laughs> and that's the heaviest fucking furniture set I've ever seen in my fucking life. First of all, my bed is the size of this room. My bed is. A big ass bed. And this is, I was thinking about this shit when I was little. It's not a big bed, it's just for the world's most giant comedian. <laughs> I'm still not over that. Uh, comment from the crowd. His rap name is Sweet Tea. Someone just sent in a voice message like an idiot. I would like to hear it. Uh, it's like one second. Nope, not enough. <laughs> So my bedroom set big as a bitch, right? Uh, Hearing an adult 58-year-old say bedroom set is hilarious. That's the technical term for it. See, you know, you're right. I'm not, I don't want to fight. It's your birthday. Uh, yeah, if it was your birthday, you'd be turning 73. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, it's like Benjamin Button, but like, you know, woke. I like woke Benjamin Button. Uh... As I was laying on my big ass bed, it got me thinking, why the fuck do we have box springs? What, is, what purpose do these air space fillers fucking have? Because my bed is six feet tall. My bed looks like the landing pad for a high jump. Uh, oh my god, you look like an extra long hot dog in a small bun. All right, bitch, you wanted this kid. All right, listen, Monty, you, you, you cross-gendered, slender man, fuck face. Uh, all, right, all right, whatever, sugar night, you know what? You look like the pool boy for General Gardner. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Hey. You're a nice guy, but your homeboy piece of shit. Let me tell you something. You look like if you if you took off your jacket, you look like a marshmallow in a microwave. Tyler, look, you look like a sailor at a gay beach. <laughs> you look like Whoopi Goldberg, but like the wrestler Goldberg. You look like a manila folder. One <laughs> <laughs> minute. You look like the crime case inside that manila folder. You look like the three amigos. You look like you look like you won tomato short of a quesadilla. You look like no more pies. No, you no, look no, like we're not doing that. No more pies. You look like you ate the three migos. This look like your conception bed. That, that looks like your midnight snack. This look like what your head gonna look like when you put it in the garbage tonight. That looks like your diabetes affecting your cum. This this look like the disinfectant spray you put on all your wounds. This look like what you can put on Tyler tonight after you go to sleep. This look like Vicks Vapor Rub for your chest. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you look like you bathe in this. Hey man, that's my time. Thank y'all. Don't be low, B. Uh, he is the, the patriarch of, of the Richmond comedy scene. So if you get sent to your room, blame him. Uh, he runs Home Sweet Home every first, third, and fifth. Will Miner, why'd you just smack yourself in the face back there, you freak? I'm waking up, sorry, 
Absolutely. <laughs> Will we dick check him? No. Okay. He's lightheaded from being that high up. <laughs> <laughs> Your next comic coming to the stage. He's the host of uh, Home Sweet Home every first, third, and fifth uh, Tuesday of the week. He's very funny. Please give it up for Jacob McFadden. For the second year anniversary, Monty asked me to come out and write jokes about everyone who had performed before me. I got halfway through and he said, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I'm doing the thing you asked me to do, so I never asked you to do that. This year he's asked me to do it again. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> God damn it. I've got 11 pages of bullshit. Oh, no one told you to do that, so I mean, at least you got your pen out. Like the motherfucker. You look like the new green M&M. <laughs> With the sexy legs? Thank you. Oh, I, I am wearing kitten boots. I didn't make it sexy anymore. Uh, well, get on the M&M news, my man. Cool. That's cool. Uh, I like Monty's new look, man. You guys like Monty's new look? <laughs> Monty is dressed like the token black guy in every fraternity. <laughs> Monty's new look is designed to make wine moms that love Hallmark movies say, Oh, he looks like a nice friend. <laughs> Whatever happened to your friend Monty? Ah, <laughs> uh, fentanyl. Monty's been doing this show now for three years with his best friend Tyler Bauer. Yeah. Or more like Tyler Cower, you quiet bitch. Jesus. <laughs> Come on now. I was happy to see Roz here. Roz is one of the bravest people I know. Damn. Not for their identity, but for being publicly associated with Monty Giles. <laughs> Uh, Monty started the show with giveaways, just like his favorite childhood icons, Rosie O'Donnell, Ellen DeGeneres, Women If It's a Children's Supplemental Nutrition Program. His dad died young. Just found out this week his dad died on a water slide. You just I thought that was made up. I thought I was the racist one for believing it. Turn out God's racist. All right, let's speed through this. Uh, J-Ron was up first. I've never seen a black guy make fun of a white <laughs> I've never yeah, seen a black guy true. make fun of a white guy's skin before, but Tyler, I think it's okay. It's smart of you to store water in your neck in case shit goes on. <laughs> My <laughs> black guy just possessed that white woman. I want you to know that. your neck, that's way smarter than a stupid ass camel. You get to it quicker. Uh, anyways, watching Tyler, J-Ron, and Monty up here, I don't know why, but it reminded me of the last time I saw a movie at the Bowtie Cinema. <laughs> Some people have been to the dollar movie days. Uh, Nate Bechtel was after that. Uh, boy, the Duke boys would be so sad if they say a white clown from North Carolina give all this time to a black educator. Uh, I thought Nate Bechtel looked like Will Miner and Tuckle Carlson fucked and made a semi-serious person. <laughs> Uh, Brendan, Cro chips, Brendan Crozier was next. Uh, my only note is gay. <laughs> but seriously, of all the LGBTQIS2 plus comics from North Carolina, he's one of the two funniest. Um, his whole set was about school shootings, proving comedy can be both a form of escapism and autobiographical. <laughs> Do you have any of your own jokes you're gonna do or are you gonna talk about everything? I'm time? doing the shit you asked me to do, you motherfucker. I never, I you never, never asked you to do You that. sure did. I didn't see until after, after that. It was Blake Carlson, who looks like Kurt Cobain, who got high on Clearasol instead of heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back on board. Blake has one thing in common with former President Barack Obama. He calls his girlfriend Big Mike in the bedroom. <laughs> I don't think it's fair to make fun of Mrs. Corky or her quirky son. <laughs> uh, Damian Anderson came after that. I would never make fun of Damian's performance at Basic City. I don't want him to cry again. She No, no, but, Shit. but really, no, but really, I peed during his set and it stung a little at the end, kind of like when your best friends betray you during your first set of Basic. Uh, after that, after that was, uh, oh, wait, comment, comment, ahead, yeah. comment for the crowd, it's Scottish Alex Jones. Oh my god. Comment from the crowd, the result of a redneck and a leprechaun and a threesome. <laughs> you only describe two people. No, but the leprechaun has magic powers. Uh, Andrew's after that, half Japanese, half Irish. His sense of humor must have come from the Japanese side. <laughs> Jokes 
for Andrew because the audience already made them. God damn, that Japanese efficiency. After that was Sabet. Woo! Hubba hubba! Ayuga! Female comedians are the funniest. No, sorry, that's sexist. Sabet's not just funny, she also squeezed her tits at the top of her set. She banged it, she banged her chest like a gladio. Bop, bop, bop. Shoot front of it. Sebek got fired for going to a Napa Valley wedding, which is so fucked up. And unrelated, wives and girlfriends think Sebek just isn't that funny. Uh, there are two easy ways to jump ahead as a female comic. The Amy Schumer method, where you steal funny jokes from other comics. Or the other route that starts with Carlton. Oh, oh shit. Oh. I, I thought that was a little inside baseball. After that was Laz Hamilton, who is not Sabet. Who's Laz Hamilton? I don't know. The musical version of Laz Hamilton. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pause, pause, pause. Anyway, it's not Sabet. Not even slightly a sexy baby. Touch your tits, Laz! Uh, hey, Laz is a morning masturbator. The birds are chirping. The sun is just over the horizon. The kids are getting home from middle school. The best part of waking up is Laz pulling on his cock. There we go. I had to do one where I sang. Uh, and anyways, as far as I recall, the rest of his set was Sabet asking if you could really drain balls. So, uh, five stars. <laughs> Let's skip the page. Next was Will and Jack. Great. More cut emotions from Inside Out 2. I never knew Will Miner was unshaved, uncut, and unhappy. <laughs> However, that set finally answered the question. Jack is a power bottom. <laughs> Anyways, this is uh, less of a joke, it's more of a public service announcement. Uh, Will wears jeans and bikes everywhere, even in the summer. So the back of Jack's, ne Jack's neck smells more like dick cheese than usual. <laughs> Anyways, big surprise, Jack took third mic and delayed the next comic by complaining to the host. Oh. Do these guys ever repeat a bit? Oh, shit. Oh my god, this is fucked. Whoever told you to do this is an asshole. Uh, Kale Moore, strongest opening of the night. Congrats to Tyler Amonti. <laughs> I can't remember that far back. What happened? Kale wore a mask slash plate over half of his face during his set. It was just like the film depiction of his first sexual experience, eyes wide open and breathing heavily till I fog up my glasses. <laughs> bang, bang. Uh, Roz was after that. Uh, Roz was after that. Uh, I'm jealous of Monty. We all know Kirby swallows dick. <laughs> I just feel really bad for Roz because she has to wear Monty's retarded hat after. Oh. Kirby's Greenland. It's also a that. Terrible hat. By the way, speaking of Roz, how skinny do you have to be to have thigh gap and a fat suit? <laughs> that's funny. Wild though, that's funny. Wild. Uh, anyways, Roz loves killing children, which sucks. Zero Star is too fat. Uh, <laughs> I, I did throw out my beer at Dana Raza's set when Kayla and Ross shook hands because I was afraid I started to see double. <laughs> uh, up next is one of my favorite comics, Louis Carroll. Uh, do you ever make tell a joke with... Stop. Okay, I'm not going to do this one. Yeah, we see I'm not going to do it. Hit the button! The stop from the back speak fire. Yeah. Premise! <laughs> Rhetorical question! False choice one, non sequitur. False choice two. Um, do you ever make tell a joke with brain food? <laughs> oh, um, uh, oh, sorry, the battery on this page died. <laughs> I love how you need to put in dad humor there. Grace Moyer, appropriating Jenna Ortega culture. <laughs> Uh, I think it's interesting that Monty shows Grace's penis, but he's not the problematic showrunner. <laughs> wow, that's great. That set was like watching kids who were friends in preschool trying to reconnect after college. <laughs> Kane Wonders also saw Monty's penis. 
That's a terrible club. <laughs> you can tell Cade is a married man because he listened to Cindy's long ass answers to simple questions without complaining. <laughs> still, still told his wife. From, from my count, it took 12 seconds to answer, what's your name? <laughs> Surprisingly, all the gay shit during Cade's set came from Monty and that homophobic camelback Tyler. <laughs> I bet it ended with Monty kissing a medical deformity, so I can't wait to see Monty's lips end up on Dr. Pimple Pomper next season. Uh, comment from the crowd. Jacob misgendering Roz and using the R slur in the same sentence. Double jeopardy. <laughs> you can't hang with the big boys. If you guys don't know, double jeopardy means you can't be prosecuted. <laughs> The gays love Beyonce. And she said, yeah, but poor gays. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, I, I've been trying to make uh, more relatable jokes. Uh, you guys remember when you'd uh, be on the playground? And uh, at Ryan Seth Montaigne, you look like it's your first day at wrestling camp. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Uh, comment from the crowd. Brian looks really like Harvey with stage four cancer. Um, uh, comment uh, for Jacob McFadden. I can't believe we stole this guy from the RNC to perform at Basic. Get the plane back tonight, folks. Uh, this is a fun one. Uh, you remember you used to play on the uh, recess, and uh, what did everybody play? Power Rangers, right? And everybody would always be getting into a fight. Man, what, what would we fight about? 
do you... Uh, Brian, how do you get exactly. so drunk and get worse at this? Exactly. What the fuck? Uh, well, comment from the crowd about Gene McFadden. He looks like Conor McGregor never picked up the gloves. Uh, comment from the crowd. Brian looks like his make-a-wish is Black Panther. <laughs> So, uh, we'd always fight over uh, what color everybody was going to be, right? And what was the one color nobody wanted to be? Purple! Well, uh, pink, actually. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Trying to relate with you, but you're not, you're not helping things along. Um, and, and why did nobody want to be the Pink Ranger? That's right, because all the uh, kids would take turns making out with the Pink Ranger. What? Because she was hot. Nah, man, that's fucked up. That is fucked up. Yeah, don't say that shit. That's fucked up, man. That's I know. Up. We would play the nose game. Whoever man, you're lost. Talking, you're talking weird about kids, we, man. That's we, fucked up. We would play the nose game, and whoever don't talk lost. weird about kids, man. That's fucking crime. Had to be, uh, had that's to be the crime, Pink dude. Ranger. That's illegal, what you're doing right now. You're doing illegal shit. Don't fuck around. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe Brian's wearing the quote that got him his first uh, harassment charge against children. <laughs> anybody, um, or anybody, uh, military brat? Jacob, uh, yeah, okay, I'm just a brat. And you guys had to, like, move around a lot? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. See, this has gone well. <laughs> right? We're complaining. Shut up, Brian. We would have a new RMC candidate right now if Trump had Brian's forehead. Oh, I, I like that. Um, uh, comment from the crowd. Brian looks like every hardcore band vocalist. Yeah. Yep. Um, I see why that's funny. Also really cool. Um, One minute remaining. Brian, who gets sober and still wears a Johnny Walker hat? So, comment from the crowd. Brian looks like a lifeguard who can't actually swim. Racist. One, this one time... That's uh, ironic, because your dad died on a water slide. <laughs> this one time... I uh, just found that out. My mom and... Brian, go uh, on. She ended up moving Brian, us do your bit. out to the... Brian, uh, come on, uh, do the bit. <laughs> Brian, we're waiting. Brian, you only have a minute left. She Brian, 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 do the bit. Brian. This is... Body this count, is Brian. Brian. Awesome. Body count, motherfucker. You guys, you guys are Talk right. shit, get shot. <laughs> All right, uh... That's a later body count single. <laughs> so, uh, my mother actually ended up moving us to the ghetto. Uh, not the, uh, not the black ghetto, but the, uh, the, uh, Jewish ghettos of, uh, Warsaw. Warsaw! And, man, that's not fucked up. People died checked. there, Brian. Well, uh, when I moved out there, I found, uh, that I, I was six years old. Hey, Brian, 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 shut up. Did you hear me? I said, Warsaw! Got you all in check. Like, woo-ha. <laughs> so, uh, you can even make it relevant. You can be like, woo We Got you all in check. Like, the, we got, got you all sick. So, uh, got you, yeah, hell yeah. Brian, did you do anything that. fucked up to the children Guys. in the ghetto of Warsaw? Cause no, I didn't do anything fucked up. I was saying that, uh, you know, I was probably the best at sports uh, out there in uh, Poland. Speaking of Warsaw, uh, but Brian went back in time to go to the concentration camps. And I didn't go to the fucking... <laughs> That's not... Brian, why are you getting upset? <laughs> Brian, don't get right. upset. Uh, Brian, so... calm down. <laughs> Brian, calm down. <laughs> Brian, what's your body count? Uh, <laughs> all right. Brian, Brian calm, calm down. down. What's your body Calm down and tell me what your body Just take a breath, Brian, and calm down. Brian, please just... Thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> so, um... The joke being that uh, I was really good at basketball, but I would always lose the uh, the nose game. So, uh, needless to say, I had to be the pink the pink ranger a lot growing up. All right, well, jokes on you. These are uh, swimming trunks, so. <laughs> you really got me, Tough Gay. Awesome. <laughs> What's the body count? Body count. What's your body count? Double digits. That's how many people see my dick. I'm double digits. How many people see my dick without sexual love? Brian Fontaine, everybody.
You go, you're like going on rides, but after enough lines, you're like, what the fuck is taking so long? Yeah. All right, that was very intense. Motherfucker! So, also, why does your shirt look like shitty bathroom tile? I made it myself. Thank you. Okay, Prashant, go ahead. Motherfucker! Oh, you're a bully. All right, dude. This is, uh, Zach is what Prashant sees in the mirror. <laughs> God, I love cigarettes, y'all. Cigarettes are so fucking good. Why the fuck are they so good? Like, why? Nicotine. Anybody smoke cigarettes over here? Yeah. Anyone? No one? Yeah. I want a cigarette so bad right now. Okay. Okay. How about waving? Hurry up! Hurry up! How, the, how about waving? Nobody waves? Wait, what? I'm talking lying ass bitches, y'all. It's Amy Louie Carroll. <laughs> Alright, secrets are so good, like, they're so good that you fucking die. Like, you literally fucking die. Why are they so good that you die? I have a solution for it. It's pretty out there, I'm telling you right now, it's very fucking out there. Secrets get you cancer, and cancer affects your lungs, and you need a new lung. How about it's aborting the babies? Let's harvest them. Yeah! Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Pro-life, pro-choice, Holy but pro shit, Shots, you got a fucking shitter on you, dude. Turn around, do a spin. Let's do a spin. What's up, though? Yeah, usually I don't do this, but, uh... Anyways, yeah, so... Uh, cool butt, dude. That's a cool butt. That makes your name easier to say. Yeah. Comment from the crowd. I feel like I'm watching a shitty Run the Jewels ripoff. <laughs> walk the gems. All right, your turn. Oh, um... Uh, so... Uh, He's trying so hard not to say a racial slur. <laughs> don't. <laughs> I don't have any. He'll go the golden path on your ass, dude. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, I smell. I smell like a cigarette, but I was mainly more into crack. That's not very funny. Comment from the crowd. It's just the truth. Coming from the crowd, world's worst buddy cop movie pairing. 
It's not rush hour, just traffic. <laughs> it's just me yelling in traffic. What? It's just me yelling in traffic. Hell yeah. Yeah, I look like porn stars from two different eras. <laughs> Say, I don't know, I don't know which one of you stealing copper wire, but it's both. <laughs> Racist. Uh, it's close enough. One minute remaining. I don't know whatever Great. these people do, I don't know their stereotypes. Sorry. I did used to do that actually, I did used to collect copper wire. From oh yeah? You used to tell jokes too, but I guess we're past that. Yeah. <laughs> I want a cigarette so bad, please wrap this up. Alright, wrap it up. All right, y'all, final one. All right, let's just bring yeah, it up. Uh, the other day on Instagram, I, I was just scrolling through it, and I just came across this flyer. This lady with the gun, straight up live with a gun, which has just shot someone, and kept saying, keep playing with me, bitch. Keep playing with me. And her boyfriend was sitting right next to her, and she literally took the phone and showed her, showed him, and it was like, what are you gonna say? <laughs> Comment for the crowd. Wildest before and after tan salon ad. <laughs> and uh, the boyfriend was like, uh, I won't keep playing with you and all. But uh, yeah. Right. This is like a Kit Boga YouTube video. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, y'all. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Stretch, holy shit. Please give it for Alex, your bartender. Please tip him well, close him out. Oh my god, uh, what else did we do? Give it up for my co-star Bauer, everyone. My best friend in the whole fucking wide world. The person I need to start making company with, I love him. Give it up for my best friend, co-host, uh, Monty Charles. Sure do love him. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, thank you so much. They like me, they really like me. I should ask for you with Tyler. Tyler, give me a kiss now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my, all right, whatever, dude. All right, follow Bay City Comedy on Instagram. Uh, we do this show every single week. Please tell your friends. Thank y'all for coming. Please follow Comedy Rocky for all the shows going on all around the city. We love you. Hey, guys, you want to stay with me? What are we going to do next? Let's go smoke weed in the parking lot. <laughs> Yeah.